Good morning everyone. So today is a Sunday and I had a mini shop update yesterday. So today is going to be me printing and cutting quite a bit more stickers. Here's my little corner with my silhouette cameo. And then down below is my printer. It's a Canon Pixma. I forget the uh, model of it, but basically the stand that it's on is on wheels. So I always like to wheel it out. That way um, it's easier for me to load the paper into the printer. But yeah, yesterday's update was really good. And like I said, I just need to do a bit of restocking because I couldn't quite figure out how much to make ahead of time. So today on Sunday, we're just going to get all the stickers prepped and then tomorrow I'm gonna pack up all the orders. All right, let's get started. All right, it is several hours later now, and I feel like a lot of little frustrating things kept happening as I was making those stickers, mainly just me struggling with laminate. So I didn't end up vlogging all the rest, but I'm just going to give a really quick overview of uh, all the things that I was making today and all the things that are new to the shop. So as of today, we have uh, these new ones, uh, the little mushrooms. They are called Small and Anxious. There we go. <laughs> I love these. And I made little miniature ones as freebies too. Then because I decided it is Halloween in July, I made a red rum boba. And also there's the little mini ones too that I am also making as little freebies. So... Isn't it so cute? Of course, I made a few more of my OG Bobo ones, and uh, these ones come in a set, but they are the exact same size as the Red Rum Boba. So, you know, if you want to get the whole family, you can. Then we have the Bunny Twins, inspired by The Shining. Come play with us. This one's probably one of my favorites because I just love the saying, dead tired on it, and the little sleepy skull. And then here are these two as part of my Polaroid series. We've got Horror Buddies, you know, we've got Chucky, Ghostface, and a tiny little Jason Voorhees bat with his machete saying friends till the end. It does say 
good guy <laughs> right there but I dropped the s in the movie it says good guys I dropped the s because you know I don't want to get sued and then we've got a really cute more wholesome one a little ghosty with his little kitty just hanging out in the forest I really love these ones too. This one is opaque. It has a solid backing. So it does have a white background when it is peeled, but this one is translucent. And I did add a little sticker on the back to signify that so that I don't get them mixed up. The translucent one ended up being really popular. I think because my video on TikTok that when I was making it kind of blew up a bit. I mean, not like a significant amount, like it didn't go like viral, but it popped off okay for me being a tiny little account. And here is what it looks like um, on my water bottle. So yeah, I think that was actually everything that is new to the shop as of the time that I'm filming this. Okay, so it is the next day and I'm getting ready to pack some orders now. I actually already printed out some packing slips. They're just sort of draped over my chair. But um, I forgot that my packing paper, I basically like made my own tissue paper. And let me try to get this to focus here. But uh, you may have seen this in my previous videos. But I'm printing more right now. I actually designed um, the design and then I drew it on Procreate and having it printed on vellum paper. So yeah, um, I did not realize that I was so low on these. But then we'll do a little bit of a packing ASMR session. I'm probably not going to film every single thing that I need to pack because filming actually kind of slows me down a little bit. And I also need to film along for TikTok as well. So if you see me, you know, hovering over something or if you see my phone out a lot, yeah, it is because I need to post on TikTok. Chances are most of these will end up on TikTok and my at is just Happy Olive Studio. So yeah, we're gonna get started here really soon.
All right, it's been a couple of days and I just got this in the mail. I've already opened it because I was really excited and I wanted to play around with it. It is a Nimbot thermal printer. I know I've really been on a kick with these thermal printers and they're just so great. I love trying them out and they're just so, so useful, especially when I have a small business, but obviously, you know, it's great for other things too, like journaling and just, you know, label making in general. It is called, as you can see, the B21. And ta-da, look at how cute and retro it is. Oh my gosh, even with this like little lever and everything. Like how cool does that look? It's so sleek and simple too. So literally just a power button and then the lever here is what will open up the device and uh, that's how you load your papers. So this roll actually already came with the device. It was already in there and the label is 50 by 30 millimeters. So yeah, it just recalibrated itself. But the model of this is the Nimbot B21. And they were so kind to reach out to see if I would be interested in trying it out, giving an honest review and all that good stuff. So I was like, of course, you know, <laughs> I love cute little gadgets like this and I would gladly love to incorporate them to help me along with my small business. They were also very, very sweet and sent me some other labels. And I believe this one is the clear. Is this? No, no, this one's the succulent one. Oh, this one's actually really, really cute. Let me show you what the paper looks like. So I believe the dimensions for this are also uh, 50 by 30. Let me just kind of try to focus this for you. Yeah, it's 50 by 30 millimeters. And look at the succulent designs. Isn't that so cute? Like I know I say I use this more for like packing purposes, but I also do journaling and this would be so useful for that. Or I don't know if you guys are ever on TikTok and see people do like home organizing TikToks and labeling things. I don't know. It's just it's just very, very pleasing to me. <laughs> so that's the succulent one. And they also sent me a clear label. So I believe these dimensions are a bit different. I think they are 40 by 60 millimeters. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is probably not going to show up on camera very well, obviously because it's clear, but I'm kind of hesitant to peel anything right now, but maybe I can kind of show you uh, what I mean by clear, like see how, how clear it actually is, you know what I mean? Let's just go ahead and peel the very first one. So yeah, it actually is quite clear. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be like frosty, you know what I mean? but very curious to see how this one will turn out. Today, I'm actually going to be making QR codes and it's something that I've been wanting to like, you know, incorporate into my small business packaging for a while. And I just kept getting sidetracked and I never made them when my shop launched. So here is what I'm going to be showing today kind of walk through how I threw this together. It was very simple and yeah, I just really, really like how they turned out. I think they're super cute and it was all printed on this cute little device. So yeah, I love the portability of it too. So okay, I'm going to switch up the angle and walk through how I made them. So the first thing I had to do was create a QR code. And in my case, I wanted the QR code to take whoever scanned the code to my card page. I created this card quite a while back and it was actually really simple. Cards used to totally intimidate me, but it was actually really easy to set up because I just use one of their templates. And my card basically will take you either to my sticker shop or the shop Instagram or my YouTube page, which is still my little tamey, you know, with obviously, you know, with my K-pop content as well, but it also has my sticker content. And then to my sticker shop TikTok. So these are the main links and it's nice because I can constantly add this if I need to without changing the QR code. So going back to the website that I used for the QR code, 
I just Googled free QR code generators. There's so many out there, so you can really choose any of them. I ended up just going with this one called beaconstack.com. I'll leave a link to it below. So all I did was just copy and paste my link for my card and then boom, you just generate the code and download it and it will download as a PNG file. After that step, I just went ahead and I airdropped my QR code PNG file onto my iPad. And then from there, I opened up Procreate, which is what you see right here. I chose my canvas size to be the same size as the little sticker label that came with the Nimbot. So in other words, this is 50 by 30 millimeters. So that is what I set my canvas size as. And from there, I just imported the QR code image and I resized it a little, put it right there. I ended up putting my little uh, cat olive <laughs> logo right here. And then I just added some doodles. It just says scan me, pretty simple and straightforward. So now from here, all I have to do is open up the Nimbot app which I already downloaded. As you can see I did already test out one sticker but I just wanted to make sure I had a grip on how everything worked but it was so easy to set up. You literally just download the app, follow the prompts, and then you connect to the Nimbot. So let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on <laughs> and here we go. So like I said, it was already preloaded with the paper that it came with, which were the 50 by 30 millimeter labels, and they're just plain white. So what I have to do is, okay, <laughs> the printer just connected via Bluetooth. That's what that beep was. So I just need to create a new label, and it wants me to add text, but I don't need to add text manually, so I'm just going to delete that part. And now I'm just going to go ahead and import the image that we just made from Procreate. So I had already saved the image from Procreate directly onto my iPad. And now I'm going to go to image down here. And then here is the image. And then, okay, we selected the image. I'm just gonna click on, let me scoot this over original. I don't know if that makes any difference, but I'm just going to do that. And now you can see it fits perfectly. I'm not even going to have to like resize anything. And we're just going to go down here to print. And let's see what happens now. Hopefully everything turns out okay. <laughs> there it is. How cute is that? Oh my word. I just love these little labels so much. They are so cute and it tears off so cleanly as well. So what we're going to do today, I had some more orders come in overnight. I need to pack them and I wanted to start incorporating my little QR code into my packaging as well. So yeah, thank you so much to Nimbot for sending me the B21 thermal printer for review. I really, really appreciate it. I love it so much. And yeah, like I said, today is going to be, well, I need to pack orders, but before I can do that, I need to restock again. <laughs> I need to do some more printing and cutting stickers. So yeah, let's get started. So again, here's the current situation. <laughs> um, I'm printing out stuff. I just have them kind of all strewn about like so just to kind of dry the ink out a little bit before I start laminating. During the shop update these little uh, Polaroid style stickers were really really popular. I'm so happy that people are starting to be in the Halloween spirit even though it's only July right now. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to be focusing on just printing a lot more of these today. Thank you. 
All right, these are hot off the press. Ghosty and Kitty in the Graveyard Polaroid stickers. And then we've got our little murder friends. Well, I don't really call it that. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't want to get flagged for anything. But we've got the Horror Buddies, uh, Friends Till the End Polaroid. So yeah, here is um, the batch that I made just now. And uh, I'm going to have to start packing orders here really soon.